what's up y'all and welcome back to fork and photo thank you for coming to my channel to see this delicious buttermilk fried shrimp recipe you won't regret coming here you will regret that you didn't get this earlier but that's about it go ahead and start with about a pound of shrimp make sure they are clean devein the ruta and the tuta the front and the back and that they are good to go i use large or extra large shrimp you can use anything except a baby shrimp and just make sure it's clean if you like the tails keep them on if you don't like them you can take them off seasoning time start off with your onion powder and then get you some good white ground pepper followed by seasoned salt and then you know i love some fresh cracked black pepper so get a good amount of that garlic powder one of my favorites is anything to give a kick so some red pepper flakes this is some honey jalapeno flakes that i have here and last up some magic shrimp seasoning that seasoning is absolutely delicious after all of your seasonings are in you want to go ahead and mix 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 i do not give directions for seasonings because it's to taste i am heavy-handed you may not like to have your throat kicked in but like me i needed a little bit more seasoning here so i went ahead and added me just a little bit more <laughs> and then after that mix it up real well until all the shrimp are evenly coated and now it is time to make your buttermilk mixture you can use a half a cup of buttermilk or like me, I prefer to use half a cup of whole milk with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Boom, creates buttermilk. Add in one egg and then some hot sauce to taste. Don't make it too hot if you don't like hot food. And then get you a fork or a whisk and whisk it real good. I whisk it real good, real good. I don't know if y'all remember that song or not, but yeah. You just whisk it until all of the eggs and the whites and the milk and the hot sauce are incorporated. Do not leave any whites. If you see any, just bing, 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 get those out because you don't want any whites at all. Once you have completed whisking your buttermilk, egg, and hot sauce mixture, it is time to pull back out your shrimp because you had them, you know, somewhere else. So get the shrimp out and go ahead and lay them all evenly in your dish so that each shrimp has its own milk bath. You know, to get it all sopped up in there. You know, get it all in there real good. Once all of your shrimp are in, let those sit there and chill out for about 15 to 20 minutes while you are preparing your flour mix. You can use a bowl or a Ziploc bag. I like a Ziploc bag. Use half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of fish fry. I like to use House of Autry, but you can use whatever you want. I go back in with seasoning, of course, shrimp seasoning, some fresh cracked black pepper, paprika, smoked paprika is better, but paprika, cinnamon, allspice, cayenne pepper, white pepper. You got all those peppers, right? Cinnamon, cayenne, white, black, shrimp seasoning, paprika, cinnamon, allspice. All those in there. Do not use too much cayenne if you cannot handle it. Once it's done, mix it all together to make sure all the spices are fully incorporated with the flour and the fish fry mixture. Grab those shrimp out from the buttermilk bath and then get your flour boom just like that add in your shrimp one by one to the flour mixture don't grab a whole bunch in your hand because then your flour is going to get all clotty and nasty you want to get as little milk buttermilk mixture as possible so don't just pour it in there please once you're done you have that toss it you don't need it anymore because it is time to shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it up. Real good. Make sure there are no loose parts of flour and no parts of just, you know, uncovered shrimp. Until it looks beautiful just like that. 
for the frying you can use a deep fryer or you can use a cast iron skillet or whatever else you fry your food in make sure your vegetable oil is up to 350 degrees or the old-fashioned way use a toothpick once it starts to bubble around it your oil is done and load it up with your shrimp the shrimp usually take two to three minutes and boom look at those shrimp look at it golden brown you have some texture from the all-purpose flour as well as from the fish fry so it's not just one tone all those seasonings are in there as you take the shrimp out place them on a metal rack so that they can cool and so the grease can drip and baby you are done oh look at that <laughs> these are good y'all i swear